The question I get asked the most without a doubt is, Frank, how do you get your teeth so white? I'm going to give you guys a few easy steps to get that Colgate smile, as well as show you my personal dental routine that I do every single day as it coincides with that. First and foremost, get a dental cleaning. Plaque formation is completely natural. Our ancestors, hunter-gatherers, indigenous people had dental plaque, but it is not attractive. If you want white sparkling teeth, you're gonna have to do a few things that are fairly unnatural as that Colgate smile isn't exactly something we saw in nature. If you can't really afford a dental cleaning, I think in New York, they're around $120 to $150. If you go to like a dental college or look for dental schools online, those are much cheaper and more affordable under certain circumstances, but without a dental cleaning and without that clean slate, you're not gonna be able to get white teeth. The second step is to invest in some bleach trays. I'll show you mine. I got my bleach trays from Sporting Smiles. I think they were around $120, but if you go to like a professional dentist, it's gonna cost you like four, five, six hundred. It's way too expensive. You need to bleach your teeth in order to get that base whiteness. In total, in my whole life, I've bleached my teeth four times. Twice in one week for that initial whiteness, and then maybe once or twice a year since then to keep my teeth super white. You don't have to be bleaching your teeth every month. That's, that's completely crazy, and it's very easy to maintain super white, vibrant teeth after you have that base whiteness if you follow some principles. Brushing after a meal is not too important as long as you brush your teeth before going to bed. You never want to go to bed with you know crap all over your teeth. But you definitely want to brush or clean your mouth out after drinking acidic or staining foods. You know, if you drink coffee, uh, that would probably be a main contributing factor uh, to tooth staining. I mean, you have wine, tea, lemon juice, anything acidic or dark colored you want to brush your teeth or clean them as soon as possible after. If you guys take iodine orally, iodine can also stain your teeth to some degree, uh, so try not to swish it around your teeth too much. Chewing gum after a meal uh, can help clean your teeth to some degree, uh, flossing as well, but let me show you guys my dental cleaning secrets that will get you teeth whiter than your bleached t-shirt. I don't usually brush my teeth in the morning, I clean my teeth really well at night before I go to bed, and sometimes when I wake up, I feel like I need to clean them, but I would say 95% of the time, I don't. So, since I eat one meal a day, usually a couple of hours after that meal, I will end up brushing my teeth. And these are the exact steps I take. So, I will floss first. Any type of floss, doesn't really matter. Just loosen up the stuff between my teeth, and this is the, the real secret, the real holy grail here is a water flosser. And I discovered this uh, when I had my jaw surgery because my mouth was wired shut. I had these braces. I always had all this gook between my teeth. This water flosser is a lifesaver. Uh, but after you floss your teeth and loosen up all that stuff, you take this and essentially power washes all of that stuff out between your teeth. And if I could choose, you know, between brushing my teeth and using a water flosser, like if I could only pick one, I would use the water flosser 100% of the time. It's so great. So I floss my teeth. I use the water flosser. Then I'll usually use a tongue scraper uh, just to scrape any stuff off of my tongue. And then I will use an electric toothbrush. And I will repeat this usually one more time. So I'll floss again. I'll use the water flosser again, I'll scrape my tongue, I'll brush my teeth. Maybe half the time I repeat it, sometimes I don't. Depends on how clean my mouth feels, uh, how much I ate. If I eat like a really fatty, rich meal, and there's like fat stuck between my teeth, I might have to do it extra. Uh, but one thing that really helped was baking soda. So at Frankie's Naturals Hygiene and Cosmetic Products, I do have a tooth powder uh, that's composed of clay, baking soda, and peppermint. And this is what I've been using every day. I have my own tub of it here. Uh, the baking soda helps whiten those spots on your teeth. So I think this contributes a lot to uh, the whitening of my teeth. 
and I don't have fluoride in here either. So, you know, removing fluoride uh, from the toothpaste, as well as consuming a high nutrient dense diet is something I didn't mention. You know, the importance of vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 in remineralizing the teeth, in the overall bone health, especially in the mouth, uh, is an understatement. So the diet definitely plays a contributing factor to my oral health, but so does this uh, routine here. Without this routine, I wouldn't have, you know, the clean, white, sparkling teeth. A few other things to mention here. If you have retainers, you want to make sure to clean them really well with those alkalizing tablets every day. I have uh, a brush here, a bristle that I use to clean, you know, the water flosser, the tongue scraper. You want to make sure everything is clean as often as possible. And I replace the head on my electric toothbrush usually about once a week. So keep everything really clean, you know, be really consistent with your routine. And then you should have a smile like mine. Almost forgot to show you guys the bleach trays. As I said, these are from Sporting Smiles. It's just like two uh, rubber trays. I wish I was sponsored by them. I'm not. I actually reached out to them and uh, they don't do that sponsor stuff, I guess. But you basically just take the bleach solution they send to you. You know, you put it in the tray and then you put this in your teeth for like 15, 20 minutes. Take it out. And you know, of course, if it starts burning, uh, take it out sooner. Uh, but you don't need to do this for more than 10 or 15 minutes, as I said. Maybe two times in a week initially to get that base white, uh, but then moving forward, maintenance is like only once or twice a year. Granted, you're doing everything properly. Really simple, guys. Not too much of a time or money investment. Get your teeth cleaned once or twice a year. Get them bleached once or twice a year. And the most overlooked thing is probably avoid the staining foods and be really consistent with your oral routine. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you want to check out any of this stuff, I think I have some things on my Amazon shop in the oral and hygiene section. Like I even have like my own uh, dental scraper cleaner thing. Uh, but I, I don't recommend using this yourself. I mean, th this can help if you have some plaque buildup, uh, but you'll never be able to remove all the plaque on your own with one of these things. And the, the water flosser is also on my Amazon shop. And of course, you can check out frankiesnaturals.com uh, and purchase our tooth powder. Everyone loves it, lasts a really long time, better than toothpaste, believe it or not, and it is certainly healthier for you. If you guys would like to support me further, you can check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com where we have high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at the most affordable price online. Go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com to check out organ meats, raw cheeses, any food you need to remineralize your teeth. If you need vitamin D3, we also have a vitamin D3 moisturizing cream on frankiesnaturals.com. Thanks again, guys and enjoy the rest of your day.